How's it going, everybody? It's Pilot Flame, and we are back with a, another FPL live stream. Today it is the game week, double game week, 35 deadline stream. We're doing it the night before because uh, I believe it's uh, 6 30 UK time. The deadline is tomorrow. I think it's actually Friday fixture or Friday deadline, Friday deadline, Tuesday deadline, and then Sunday deadline for the remaining four game weeks of the season. Uh, maybe having slight, slight lag issues, but we should be able to persevere. It's not, not, not bad. Um, maybe should have reset the internet before we started, but we should be fine nonetheless. If there is any problems, um, or if I get serious, uh, I'll be able to see it. So, uh, but it should be okay. It's only very minor. Um, but triple game week for Man United this week. Double game week for Liverpool now with Man United blanking in 36 still. Liverpool. Having a double game week, but not the double that we all thought. Um, we'll be taking a look at some double game week players. Um, I'll also be taking a look at how uh, I want to, you know, maneuver my transfers as well uh, till the end of the season. We'll be taking a look at the Whipping Boys table, which defenses to target uh, for the last uh, part of the season, and we'll take a look at the goals and minute table as we normally do. And uh, yeah, the Huda Captain table this week. I think it kind of goes out the window. Everyone kind of knows uh, who to captain this week. It's Bruno Fernandez, of course. Uh, he's got the triple game week. He said he played eight hours a day when he was a kid, so uh, he, he he should be fine. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Righty. So this is the team as it stands at the moment. Um, so we have Martinez with a double, Aspilicueta with a double, Shaw with a triple, mind you, that's probably most likely a double, uh, Cody, Lingard, and Son with singles, Jota, Salah with doubles, although Jota's probably like a single and a half, Fernandez with probably, I would say on average, I would say he's probably going to play two and a half games maybe, um, but he, he might, he, he might play all three, and then Vardy and Inatrium are certainly going to play both games, um, assuming they're fit. Because they still want to keep themselves in the top four, um, but yeah, some interesting, some interesting things that came out of tonight as well. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer going in a very strong team for the Europa League game, and United could have easily lost. If you look at the XG over both ties, it was about even. It was about six and a half goals apiece. So Roma could have easily scored if we didn't have David de Gea in net uh, tonight, um, or just a decent goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, um, not really sure what was uh, what was going on there, but I think this is the reason probably why Ole Gunnar Solskjaer plays McTominay and Fred. I think maybe he gets more out of Pogba when he plays up in the um, you know in that like three behind the the number nine, and it's just they just you know Pogba doesn't have like that Angola Conte next to him. I don't think they play um, nearly as well, and he's not nearly as effective. So I would expect going into the final, you'll probably see De Gea in goal because I think he's the cup goalkeeper, and I would expect him to be in goal. Uh, you know, Maguire and Lindelof, Wambasaka, Shaw, uh, Pogba, uh, Rashford on the right, Bruno in the ten, and probably Cavani through the middle. Um, if I had to guess. Um, but in terms of this game we coming up, it's anyone's guess. Uh, Bruno Fernandes played 80-something minutes. Maguire played 90 minutes. Shaw and Wamasaka were taken off after 45 minutes. So maybe some some good um, good thoughts there. Um, Rashford came on for just 20 minutes. Didn't play the majority of the game. Um, who else came? Uh, or Pogba only got 60-something minutes. So maybe a punt there. Um, if I had to guess, I would say probably you're probably going to see Oli's best team versus Leicester and Liverpool. And he may rotate a little bit versus Aston Villa. Now, what that is, I don't know. Um, you'll probably see, you know, Maguire, Lindelof, Wamasaka, Shaw, Dean Henderson, uh, Pogba, Rashford, Bruno, Cavani against Liverpool. That's probably what you'll see. Um, and maybe that's the case against Leicester as well, although we might revert to a back three. Um given how you know Leicester have changed up their system and you might see Shaw still play but more in a a back three system which means he might there might be a rest for Wamasaka in the Leicester game which could potentially you know cause some uh cause some issues uh there if you were looking to go Wamasaka is the most expensive United defender um how's it going Mono hope you're uh Hope you enjoyed uh, the games tonight. Uh, good evening, uh, as uh, <laughs> Unai Emery, how he would pronounce good evening. Um, 
But uh, yeah, United versus Villarreal final. I did not expect that. I expected Arsenal to definitely win win the game. And no, no was probably the last scoreline I expected, to be honest. Um, and the United game was the one with all the goals, which was interesting. Um, so yeah. United were useless, but were there. I mean, they probably have, you know, they kind of knew that they could play pretty bad, mostly, uh, and, uh, you know, still still get away with it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it, they're there, and they had a big cushion to begin with, so I think that's what they needed to get there, pretty much. Although, Solskjaer did come out and say, He's like, we only played good for one half in the whole two legs, basically. And he's right. It was the second leg uh, where we scored, uh, or the second half of the first leg where we scored five goals and they scored none. So, yeah. Should make for a good final. Yeah, I like uh, the way um, Virial play. They move the ball quickly. Um, it'll be a good watch for Pau Torres, who's a potential signing for United as well, uh, or a target. So, uh, yeah, could be could be quite interesting. Could be quite interesting. Um, so yeah, it should be, should, should definitely be, uh, should definitely be interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see as to what the team's going to be like in the Wolves game, because I believe that game is, I think the Europa League finals on the Wednesday after the Premier League finishes. So it's the Premier League, um, on the, uh, the Premier League games are all played on the Sunday, the Europa League finals on the Wednesday, and I think the Champions League finals on Saturday, something like that. So, is Pau Torres pacey? He's got a little bit of pace about him. Uh, left footed, Spanish international, uh, early to mid 20s, I think. Um, alongside Maguire, I think he should do quite fine. Um, likes the ball at his feet, you know. Um, very good at um, you know at moving the ball quickly and playing it out from the back. He is still quite young, um, but he is you know he's a Spanish player in a in a Spanish side. Um, he's decent in the air from what I know, um, but the little bits I've seen him, I think he could be a decent pick. Now is he the world class centre back that United probably want? Probably not, um, but I would say he would definitely be better than what we have potentially right now. Um, the only problem, like, so for me, it would have been, um, let Baye go, let Phil Jones go, keep, uh, Lindelof, potentially keep, uh, Twan Zabi as your, like, fifth center back, or maybe send him out on loan, uh, bring in Pau Torres, but also bring in, like, a, a world-class center back, so, yeah, we'll sign Ben White for 40 million on deadline day, yeah, that would be terrible. That would be terrible. Uh, we don't want that. <laughs> we definitely don't want that. Um, although I think Ben White's an okay player. I think he he plays... I, his best games, honestly, for me, have been when they played um, in a back three. Um, and when he's played defensive midfield, which is weird. Um, you know, I don't think he can play in a back two, personally. Um, but, uh, yeah, they also play a different system, too. Um, can get caught out from time to time. I don't think he's necessarily super, super quick, but, you know, is what it is. Glazers have to respond with a signing or lose the fans for good. I mean, they've already lost them, to be honest. There was no trust to begin with, and it's already gone south even more. They also have to respond to the fans, uh, the United Supporters Trust uh, fans thing that was sent in at the beginning of the week. Uh, their deadline was Friday, and if they don't respond... Um, then there's going to be problems, basically. Is there any response in the USA? Yes, it was over all over CNN and stuff like that. CNN, NBC, I think, because um, there was there was a Sky reporter in in the US like trying to get a response out of Joel Glazer. I retweeted it on on Twitter. Um, or not Joel, uh, Avram, the the brother, and just didn't say anything. So. Um, also, another thing I'd like to point out is that it, there's potentially going to be a major protest at the next, uh, the next, the, the, the remaining home games. Um, United will have fans in the ground, I believe, for the Fulham game because every team's going to get one home game uh, where they have fans in the ground. I think that starts in game week 37. Uh, so for Liverpool, it'd be in game week 38. United, it'd be in 37. Um, so that'll be versus Fulham at home. Um, I don't think there's going to be any protest there. I think the protest will be in the ground, if anything. 
Um, well, maybe they'll be outside too. But uh, there, there's probably going to be protests at the Liverpool game, uh, almost certainly, probably in maybe in similar numbers, if not more. Um, but I think they're going to have heightened security. So, um, and if I was the United players, if they wanted to still be able to play the game, uh, I would make sure they got to the stadium early and they got there with security and in numbers. Because um, they could, United players, uh, the United fans could easily replicate. I mean, they could block basically every way of the bus getting to Old Trafford. And then what are they going to do? Can't do anything. You're not going to walk there. <laughs> so, yeah. But the security will probably learn from their lessons. And uh, uh, police force will definitely be in order there. But uh, moving on back to the, the triple game week. I don't think any of the games are going to get postponed. And if they did, I'd be shocked. Um, but it's a matter of who's going to play uh, what in those games. So if we go to the United players. So it, actually, let's take a look at the turnaround. So it was a game today. It was... a. Uh, uh, 8 o'clock UK time kickoff. Then United has the uh, Sunday 10 o'clock fixture. Then they have a 2 p.m. fixture on Tuesday. So you're looking at just over two days rest for that. And then it's just over two days rest for that. Um, and then United uh, doesn't play. Um over that week uh but then they play on tuesday uh so a little bit more of a rest of time and then it's a quick uh, you know a little bit more rest time so it's three quick games in quick succession for united players now if i were to i'm just gonna uh, uh remove uh some of the players and just put in uh potential uh united player options um so that we can uh, we can discuss uh, all of them. If we're starting with the goalkeepers, uh, De Gea and Dean Henderson. Uh, if I had to choose uh, which keeper is most likely uh, going to play, um, I would say it's Dean Henderson. I think he'll play at least two of these games. At least two. Um, will he play all three? Probably, actually, to be perfectly honest. Maybe De Gea plays... Um, the Fulham at home game, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. But I can't see Dean Henderson playing three games in a row in the Premier League um, in quick succession, then playing Fulham, then playing Wolves, and then playing the Europa League final. I think there may be a mix and match there. So I think probably two out of the three is probably about average. So if you're looking for a goalkeeper there, um, you might as well just go with a double goal, double game week goalkeeper as better fixtures. So the likes of Guaita uh, would be my pick there. In defense, uh, we got uh, Wambasaka, Shaw, uh, Maguire, probably the main front runners, and then you got Lindelof, and then basically everyone else. Um, De Gea was superb today. Oh yeah, man of the match. We conceded three goals, and De Gea was by far a man of the match. I think they had like twelve shots on target. It was insane. Do I think Dean Henderson could have made some of those saves? Yeah, I think so. But does he have the composure to potentially make those saves when he's called upon? De Gea has proven that he has. Uh, for me, Dean Henderson, you know, he hasn't had the limelight on him where it's, you know, fans in the ground, European night, important. You know, De Gea has proven that he's done it. Um, but yeah, in defense, if I had to order these in terms of most likely to play, like, so who's going to probably play two games? Wambasaka will play two games, Shaw will play two games, Maguire will play two games, and Lindelof will probably play two games. Who's going to play three games is the real kicker. I think the most likely, if I had to order them, um, I would say Maguire is probably Maguire and Wambasaka are probably the two that I would put ahead um, to play um, to play three games uh, in this run, just because Maguire is a captain and just plays every game. Uh, Wambasaka got uh, rested for the first time in pff, who knows how long. I mean, if you look at the Premier League for Wambasaka, uh, didn't play because I believe he was uh, injured um, or he had to like isolate or something. Uh, didn't play versus Leicester because he was injured. But look, 90 minutes in literally every other game. Basically, when he's fit, he plays pretty much. Um, if we look at Maguire, same thing. Maguire's literally played 90 minutes every game. 
He'll play every game, every game. So if you want somebody for assurance uh, for at least two, probably three, it's Harry Maguire. Wamasaka's got a little bit more attacking threat, slightly more expensive. Um, if you had uh, just Fernandez in your team, I would say Maguire and Wamasaka is probably better um, in terms of potential assurance for starts than Maguire and Shaw, even though Shaw is cheaper. Because I think there is a chance um, that uh, Tellez plays uh, 60 minutes um, in the Aston Villa game. Um, and then Shaw maybe comes on later in the game or doesn't come on at all. And then Shaw gets the two harder fixtures versus Liverpool and Leicester. But those could be clean sheets too. So I still think Shaw gets two. Um, but I think Maguire and wan definitely get uh, three. And it's just a matter of who would you go for. Uh, in those I think Fernandez is going to get three games I mean he was talking today quotes were coming out saying that he uh, he was like yeah I used to play eight hours of football I'm fine uh, a, a day so yeah I've shown Bruno would you recommend a third United player um, I mean it depends on what the situation is like so if you have a free hit it's very easy to do um, if those players are going to be the only ones you're, that you're blanking with um, then yeah it should be fine um, but, uh, it's just, a, it's just a matter of how many other players you have blanking, how many transfers you have this week. Um, so if you post your team on it, I can take a, take a look and see kind of what I would do. Um, but, uh, yeah, for my team, it's pretty straightforward. I can bring in and have 11 double game weekers, no problem. Free hit in 36, um, and then have my United players for Fulham and, um, Fulham and, uh, Wolves. So that's what I'm going with. Um, so yeah, I would say Maguire probably is, Maguire won Masaka. I think they're both going to play at least two. Maguire is probably likely to play all three. Um, and then Juan Masaka, um, and then probably Shaw if I or, or, um, or. It's more, I have two Leicester, two Arsenal, and two United. Ooh, yeah, see, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Um, if anything, I would try to move on. I'm thinking, I think you might just need to, to roll with it uh, for that. Yeah, for 36, that, that, that can be quite bad. I mean, you get a lot of players this week. Um, the two free transfers, if I had to do it, I would get double game week players that aren't Arsenal players, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Hey, uh, how do I pronounce that? Uh, Masuel? 11? Maswell? Uh, Maswell 11? I think I pronounced that right. I could be wrong. Um, if you give me the phonetics on that, I'll make sure to pronounce it uh, correct. Should I bring in Ward for Veltman for a minus four? Mm, Ward for Veltman. I think it's close, but I think for a double game week player from a single game week player, I think it's fine. Who does Lingard have? Um... Lingard is Everton. Um, I'd probably say that's probably okay, I would think. Um, will Ward play? Uh, does Ward play basically every game? When he's fit? I mean, pretty much, yeah, when he's fit. Um, I think it should be fine. I think that'd be fine. Um, but yeah, if you're already set up with United players and that sort of stuff, um, and you're looking for more double gaming players, I think that should be okay. Uh, um, but yeah, moving into the midfield for United players, we then have uh, Rashford, we have Greenwood, uh, we have Pogba. I believe Dan James is still a doubt, but I'll put him in there. Um, and then everyone else probably doesn't really matter too much. Um, but in terms of midfielders, Bruno is almost certainly playing three. Um, I think Greenwood probably plays two. Whether that be one, one and then 30 minutes and 30 minutes. Or one and one and then zero. Uh, Rashford probably plays the two big games, uh, probably. Uh, maybe gets taken off early in, in the, the Aston Villa game. So maybe Rashford plays two two in a bit, but I, I don't want him to play that many games because he's still technically injured. Dan James, maybe the Liverpool game, but that's probably about it. 
uh, Pogba probably plays the, the big two games too. Um, so on average in the United midfield, you're looking at like one and a half to two with Bruno Fernandes being like a two and a half to three. So I've got Maguire Fernandes. think that should be enough. Yeah, I mean, that's that, that, that I mean, that's good. I mean, you got the two players that are most likely to play all four, basically, or all three, rather. Um, if you have, if those are the only two players that are blanking for 36, you might, you might be, you know, looking to get a third if you can for for one extra transfer um but you you probably have Leicester players you probably have Chelsea players potentially you may have Arsenal players um and then they blank as well um so yeah uh Martial is apparently supposed to be back um but not until basically the the Fulham or Wolves game and then you have Cavani who I would expect to probably play he probably plays versus Liverpool he probably doesn't start versus Aston Villa and then he maybe starts versus Leicester but Cavani can get points off the bench too so I think Cavani probably plays a max of two but it's probably like uh the full game versus Liverpool or mostly the full game versus Liverpool 30 minutes and 30 minutes I think if I had to guess um, then maybe he plays the Fulham game, maybe he gets, you know, a few minutes off the bench in the Wolves game, and then he starts the final. Um, that's how I would see it. So if I was picking, if I was on a free hit, uh, the players that I would have uh, in my team uh, would be these three right here. I'd have Wambasaka, Maguire, and Fernandez because Tellers is definitely a better player than Brandon Williams. I think Tellez has come in and been decent. The problem is he needs minutes in order to play well. Um, but Shaw is clear. It's close between Shaw and wan -Bissaka. I think the price uh, may edge Shaw, but I think that wan is less likely to get replaced by Brandon Williams from the start uh, than Shaw is with Tellez, just because of Tellez's pedigree and how good he is and experience and whatnot. But I think Maguire and Fernandez would be the is the two, and I'm looking to get Maguire in this week. Um, but maybe I go slightly different with Juan Masaka just because of the attacking threat uh, potentially down that side, and he tends to rack up a little bit more uh, bonus. But uh, with both fullbacks getting um, taken off early uh, in this game, I think they might just they might just end up playing. Um, all three games to be honest with you and then maybe they get taken off at 70 minutes or something if you know if we're winning 3-0 let's say versus Aston Villa 70 minutes to go take off both fullbacks and you should be okay mind you tonight we conceded a lot of goals when they both came off so maybe just the one but uh that would be me uh personally on that front um so I say wan and Shaw are probably quite close and I think the price difference and a lot of people having Shaw over wan may help or may assist that uh, as it were Loris, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Shaw, Fofana, Bruno, Captain, Jota, Saka, Son, Watkins, Ian, Adger, Kane, Bench, Patricio, Holding, Lingard, Cody. I have two free transfers. Um, six players I'd need out for game week 36. Loris, Kane, and Son I want to hold and keep for 36 slash 37. I think Son, as a single game week player, although I might be getting rid of him, I think Son and Kane this week are still fine for a single game week. I think they're perfectly fine. Um... Watkins has a double and then has is fine afterwards. Um, Ian Acho is a transfer you can make next week. Um, Fafana is somebody that you can um, just pretend, you could just bench him, um, and you could just play Cody at, at you know at worst. Uh, he does play Spurs, but you know if you have to play him, you could. Um, so who blanks in, in the week after for you? The players that were blank would be Shaw, so it's one, uh, Fofana, Bruno, um, Saka, Iheanacho, and Holding, so six players. Um, and how much money in the bank do you have is the question. That would be the question I would have. Uh, so let me go with, uh, so you have... Uh, Let me go all players. Because I'm just going to basically put your team up on the screen. So we got Lloris, uh, Patricio, um, 
Alexander Arnold holding uh, Fafana. And you got midfield Salah. You don't have Salah. Okay, well, that, that could be a problem. <laughs> um, uh, so you don't have Salah. You have Lingard. You have that. You have, you have Jota as well. Yeah, so you have Saka as the other one. Saka. Uh, you have Kane uh, and Watkins. And you said you have 3.6 in the bank. So, if it was me, I mean, a single game week goalkeeper probably isn't the worst thing. Um, it's not the worst thing. What should I do with Jota? I'd say keep him. Definitely keep Jota. If Klopp keeps the team, so the team sheets were actually leaked, by the way. Um, they, they were actually announced uh, for the United-Liverpool game. And basically, United was going to go with um, uh, the team that they were always going to go with. Uh, Henderson and goal, uh, Maguire, Lindelof, Wambasaka, Shaw, uh, McTominay and Fred, Pogba on the left, Bruno in the middle, Rashford on the right, um, and Cameron Fils, Cavani and Greenwood up top. But Liverpool... In uh, interestingly enough, had Phillips at center back, which was interesting. They had Fabinho back in midfield, and they had um, uh, Firmino, uh, Salah, and Mane. Now, does that mean that Jota's going to start uh, versus Southampton, and then Klopp's going to go with that team versus United? I'm not sure, but I think if you look at if you look at Liverpool's remaining fixtures, Liverpool have five fixtures left. I think Jota gets benched in the Man United game. Um, I think he starts in three out of those four and then maybe makes another bench appearance. Um, so I think that's fine. Um, being benched in the United game, that's not the end of the world, I think. Um, and then playing in all the other ones, but coming off the bench in, in one of those, I think is perfectly fine. Um, and you got to think one of those games, uh, he probably starts all four. So I would say Crystal Palace at home, I think they probably start all four. Uh, Burnley away, you might say Mane's benched. West Brom away, you might say Firmino's benched. Um, Southampton at home, you might say he plays all four. Who knows? Um, no, Jota was in the squad. He was on the bench. He was on the bench. He's not injured. He was he was on the bench. Uh, let me see if I can find the... See if I can find it. Uh, really quickly. Liverpool tweeter. Liverpool FC. Uh, actually, no, it was, um, it wasn't Liverpool's Twitter that would have shown it. Uh, was that Burnley West Ham? Yes, the lineup for Liverpool is Allison, Trent Alexander Arnold, Phillips, Kabak, Robertson, Thiago, Fabinho, uh, Fabinho, uh, Milner, Salah, uh, Firmino, and Mane. Um, and on the bench uh, was Adrian, uh, Nico Williams, uh, Simikas, uh, Jerdan Shakiri, Jeannie White Autumn, Naby Keita, Curtis Jones, Alex Alcalay Chamberlain, and Diego Jota. So he was on the bench. Uh, Greenwood was actually the, um, it was Greenwood on the right and it was Rashford up front. So United's bench was De Gea, Bailly, uh, Brandon Williams, Alex Tejas, uh, Axel Twanzebe, Juan Mata, Donny van der Beek, uh, Nemanja Matic, and Edinson Cavani. Um, so I'll just post it in the chat. Um, if you haven't followed FPL status, he's great. He tells you about injuries. He tells you about lineup news. He tells you about uh, price rises. He's a fantastic person to follow on Twitter. So I make sure to do that um, if you haven't done so already. Um, and follow us on Twitter as well. <laughs> because uh, we retweet a lot of stuff. That's quite good. Um, so... 
Um, so we have the team. So if I was you and you said you had 3.6 million in the bank, so let me bring up a calculator. So you have, um, put it off to the side here. So if you wanted to get double game week players, as many double game week players, you said you have two free transfers. So you have three free transfers, but you have six players that blank. Um, and those six players is Ian Acho, Fernandez, Shaw, Saka, Fafana, and Holding. Well, if you have 3.6 million in the bank, um, there's no real feasible way to get Salah. So I think you have to go a different route. Um, so if you have 3.6 million in the bank, you can go holding because he might not even play both games either holding and Saka out so I have 11.5 plus 3.6 Oh no, I don't have 11.5 plus 3.6. Um, who did you have? You had Holding. Uh, and who's the other player? Saka, right? So I have 2 point... Okay, so I'm 1.5 off here. Okay, so I need to add 1.5. Um, so you have 13 mil. For me, I would go... Um, you can go, uh, I would go, actually, I would, Digne would be one. Um, so subtract 6.1, gives you 6.9. Um, which means you can go, Because you just need a player that plays in um, in 36. Maybe you go Ward. So that's plus 0.6. And then you have 7.5. If Zaha's fit, uh, you could go Zaha, and I believe you would have. Um, I believe you'd have 0.3 left. You can go Zaha and Warprowse. And then you can play. I mean, you could play 5 at the back if you wanted to. Um, but um, Joe Ward is just because he has a fixture at first Aston Villa at home in 36, and he's cheap. Um, but you can go Trent, Shaw, Digne, Fofana, um, could potentially even play Ward over Fofana, um, Zaha, Fernandez, uh, Jota, I mean, you can go, you can go 5-3-2, you can bench Kane and so on if you want, um, but yeah, you can go for it like this, uh, this for a hit, you can have, um, you know, you don't have to necessarily play Ward. He's just there for a you know a cheap defender that has a fixture in thirty six. Um, um, or, or, you can go Phillips. You can go Nat Phillips because you don't have. Um, I forgot you don't have Salah, so you can go Phillips, which would mean you would have an extra 0. 0.5. Um, in the bank. A Moose Hile, we'll get to your team in just a second. I, I'm gonna see if I can work this out for, for Mono as well. So you can go for that for minus four. You play Phillips, Digne, um, Alexander Arnold, Shaw, and Fafana. 
Zaha Fernandez, uh, Jota or Son, your choice. Um, Ian Acho, Watkins, Kane. Like you could play a bunch of different players. You don't have to necessarily play Phillips if you think the double ups too much. Could I go Robertson instead of Dinier? You could. The only thing is, is that I don't think you necessarily have to play Phillips. Like you can bring him in, but you don't have to necessarily play him. Because you just want him for the next week and the week after and the week after that. So like Phillips has Southampton at home, Man United away. So probably let's say one clean sheet and one not clean sheet. Fofana has Newcastle at home, Man United away, but then he blanks. So basically Phillips is just going to cover Fofana afterwards anyway. Um, so Phillips, you can play him versus West Brom, Burnley, Crystal Palace, whoever. So you could bring in Phillips, you take the minus four and you could play... Trent Shaw, Digne, Phillips, or Fafana. So you play four at the back. Um, Zaha, Fernandez, uh, Jota. Um, and then you can play Watkins, Ian Acho, and, and then either Kane or Son, whichever one you choose. That's how I would do it. And that'd be for minus four. And then going into 36, you have, um, you know, whichever goalkeeper you fancy because they play each other. Um, you have Trent who plays, you have Digne who plays, you have Phillips who plays. Uh, so that's three at the back. You have Zaha, Lingard, uh, Son, and Jota in midfield. And then you have Kane, Watkins, and you only have to make... Um, and then you only have to make uh, one transfer potentially up front. And you have 0.5 to do it. Um, and you can go from Ian Acho uh, to Antonio. And you would have 0.1 in the bank if you went that. And if you were a little bit light on cash, you could just have Ward Prowse instead of Zaha, which means you can go DCL afterwards if you want. So that's what I would do. Depending, again, this depends on your value of your players. But yeah, I, you could do something like that. Would I leave the keepers alone? Yeah, there's no point. You, you might as well just leave him. Just go with a single game week player. Um, and in the double, you would have uh, doubles on every player except for your goalkeeper and then either Son or Kane, which I think is fine. Um, that's what I would do. And that means you only have to do a minus four. You can take out Ian Acho uh, for, um, uh, for Antonio in 36. And then in 36, you play Antonio Watkins Kane. Um, Son, Jota, Lingard, and Zaha, uh, Phillips, Digne, Trent, and then one of your goalkeepers. Yeah, two United is probably what you're going to have to deal with, unfortunately. If you wanted to take an additional hit and you thought Dean Henderson was going to play three games, that would be the other position where you could do it. So you could do a hit for... So Dean Henderson is, the, is point one less than Patricio. So you could do Patricio to Henderson. Play Henderson because you know you have Lloris afterwards. So it'd be a minus eight. So it would look like this. It'd be a minus eight. Um, uh, out uh, would be... Uh, I'm going to write it in the chat. Patricio um, holding... Saka, and who is the other player? Space and out. Holding Saka, and Cody. Um, and then in would be uh, Henderson, who you'd play. Um... Phillips, Digne, and Zaha. That's who you would have. Then you play Henderson, and then in gaming 36, the only transfer you need to do is Ian Acho. Uh, Ian Acho out, or Fernandez out, or Shaw out, for or Fafana out for somebody. But the easiest thing that I would do is, is then, and then in uh, game week 36, um, you can go... Uh, Ian Acho uh, to Antonio. And you should have um, like 0.2 or 0.3 depending on what you have left in the bank. But just make sure that that's um, what you have left. Um, but yeah. All right, moving on to Moose Hales. Uh, Moose. 
Musail. I don't, I, I don't know how to pronounce pronounce your name. I'm gonna I'm gonna call um I'm gonna I'm gonna call you Hale. <laughs> no worries, Mono. Okay. Uh, uh, Hale's team is uh. So let me remove some of these players here. Uh, Hale, what's um? How much money do you have in the bank? Uh, is the question I would have for you. So you'd have uh. Yeah, Martinez and goal. 0.5 million in the bank. All right. So Martinez and Forster. Uh, you have uh, Alexander Arnold. You have uh, Maguire. You have uh, Veltman. Um, you have Dallas. You have Castagne. Um, and the next question is, have you made any transfers already? And if so, how many? Uh, yeah, if you've made any transfers, let me know. And if they were free or not. Sala. Diego Jota. I made one Maguire in, and is, was that your only free transfer of the week? Shinman Son. Lingard. Uh, Vidrakani and Atra. So that's that was your only free transfer. So that means it would have to be this would have to be for a hit or something else, basically. If I'm getting you correctly, and you said you have 0.5 million in the bank. So I am. Uh, so 0.5 million in the bank is 1.9 plus 0.5 because I can't do math is 2.4. All, All right. right. So if that's your only free transfer, so the rest will be for hits then, if anything. So this week you could. So your team on paper would be Martinez, Trent, Maguire, Castagne, Sala, Fernandez, Jota, Son, Lingard, Vardy, Ianacha would probably be. Oh, is it Kane instead of Vardy? My bad. My bad. Harry Kane. Uh, and you have 0.5 uh, in the bank. Which means I actually have uh, 4.1 is the magic number. Extra. Or actually no, it's just 0.5 I have left. Or no, no, it is 4.1. All right, so. And everything else will be for hits. Um, How many players do you have blanking? So in 36, the players that were blank would be McGuire, Castagne, Fernandez, and Ian Atro. So you don't, probably don't want to bring in any players... That have um, that are Leicester United, uh, Arsenal, or Chelsea. So you're probably looking at Aston Villa, Everton, um, Aston Villa, Everton, Southampton, uh, and Crystal Palace. Um, you have 0.5 million in the bank. Well, I think keeping Son and Kane is, you know, is nice. Um, before it hit, it starts to get a bit, bit tricky. I think if you keep Son and Kane, they have one fixture. Okay, cool. Fine. Um, 
And then they have a fixture next week. So they effectively have a double, which is spread over two. Um, you have three Liverpool. What are the fixtures like? What are Southampton's fixtures? They're what? Liverpool. Liverpool and Palace. Um, it's tough, actually. <laughs> I mean, one transfer you could do. I don't like it too much, but it is possible that you could, you know, it is something you could do. Um... If you wanted an extra double game week player. Um, would be Lingard. Uh, Lingard to. Um, James Ward-Prowse. But honestly. I think you just run Martinez. Trent. Maguire. Castagne. Salah, Fernandez, Son, Jota, Kane, and Iheanacho. Um, yeah, you have two single gaming players. Oh, and you play Lingard too. Yeah, you have two single gaming players, but Lingard and, and Son and Kane can do well. Those would be your only three single gaming players. It's eight players. Your captain and Fernandez. Um, you have Salah. You have Iheanacho. You have Trent. Um, Castagne is somewhat of a differential. I think it's perfect. I think that team is probably fine. Um, with, uh, you know, and then you go into next week with one free transfer. Um, and you would have to deal with one, two, three, four players blanking. Uh, who does Vidra have? Vidra has leads. Um, Feltman. Feltman has West Ham, which is a bit tough. Um, well, what you can do the following week, you have 0.5 million in the bank. Uh, you can go Castagne to uh, Digne, maybe. Because um, you can do that, and you would have 0.2 left over. Um, and then you could play... Um, you could play you play Martinez versus Palace you play Martinez, Trent uh, Dallas and Digne Salah, Lingard Son and Jota uh, Kane, Vidra um, and then you'll need one more so you have like 0.2-ish left over um Well, if you had with Cas, uh, well, you can you can do uh, yeah, you could you could do um, you could do Castagne to Dinia, and then you could do uh, Veltman to uh, Phillips if you wanted to. Oh no, you can't. You can't do Phillips. It's a bit annoying. Um. You can do Ward from Crystal Palace. Is Ward for Veltman a hit? That's the tricky part. That, that is the tricky part. Because then you would play, you play what, Ward over Lingard probably? Then in 36, you'd be Castagne and Vidra out for Antonio and Diop. I mean, yeah, that, that sounds fine too. That sounds fine as well. Uh, will Diop play is the question though. 
Um, but you would have to get rid of um, Ianacho, not Vidra. Because uh, uh, Ianacho doesn't play. Whereas Vidra does. And with this with this team, uh, who is your other defender? Uh, Castagna, right. Uh, Castagne, Ianacho, Fernandez, Maguire, um, all wouldn't play. So you probably, and if you don't want to play Veltman, uh, then you probably have to get rid of two of them. So, and then Ianacho's fixtures for the last um, two. Because he's a blank of 36, and then he's Chelsea and Tottenham, so they're not great. Hey, Jarvik, how's it going? Hope you're doing well during these turbulent times, as he was, he would say. We're all we've got, people. That's what he says. Um, but, um... Yeah, I think it's a bit tough. For your team. Uh, just because there's some there's some good players you want to keep for this week. And then next week you probably have to take a hit, hit. To at least rectify or have 11 players. I think you probably have to keep Vidra. Um, Kane, Son, and Lingard going down in price. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, if you're just going to keep them for the rest of the season, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, for me, is Ward for Veltman a hit, worth the hit? Are you playing Veltman this week? No. Do you really want him for the rest of the season? No. So if that's your line of thinking as well, I would say then... Um, you know, it's probably um probably worth it then. So for me, this is my team. I have a bit of a luxury. I have a free hit, so I can do whatever I want, basically. Um, but my line of thinking is um, uh, Cody out, Aina out, uh, Son out, uh, and then go with uh, Juan Masako and Maguire. I'll just put in Juan Masako. Um... Inya. And then me personally, I, I like Ward Prowse over the likes of Zaha, just because Zaha is like, you know, likely to like he still said he had that injury, which is kind of worrying me. No worries, Hale. No worries. That's what we do here. We try to help others out as best we can. A lower rank wouldn't suggest that we're of that much help, but at least I, I try. Um, so yeah, that would be for a minus four. Um, and then we'd free hit in 36 and then 37, um, uh, Leicester play Chelsea away, which could be just interesting. Um, I would get rid of Aspilicueta, uh, and I would bring in Alexander Arnold because Alexander Arnold would be on my free hit team anyway. Um, and then in, um, uh, And then in uh, 38 for the last uh, last uh, home game of the season, uh, we take out Vardy and we bring in uh, we bring in Aguero. So he's not injured. Uh, yeah, so that's what we do. Uh, so restore. Uh, and then basically, what I would do in this week, I would play Martinez. I would play Aspilicueta, Shaw, Wamasaka, Digne. I play four across midfield, Salah, Fernandez, Warprouse, Jota, and then I play uh, Vardy and Ianacho. On uh, 36, I free hit. 37, I would take Aspilicueta out uh, for um, Alexander Arnold. Uh, and I would play uh, both my United defenders, uh, Alexander Arnold and Digne, uh, with Salah, Fernandez, um, 
probably uh, five across midfield. And then Vardy up front, maybe. Maybe I take a hit for Antonio so that I don't play Jota. I don't know. It depends. It's a bit weird. Um, and then I play, uh, play obviously, Aguero up front um, for final game of the season. Because uh, uh, Ward Prowse... Uh, oh, Ward Prowse has lead, so that could be a bit tricky. But uh, West Ham away, I bench Ward Prowse for that. I play Lingard. Uh, so I play Lingard, I play Salah, I play Fernandez, play Jota. Um, I would bench Digne. Um, I play Shaw, Wamasaka, and Trent. And then I play Aguero, probably plus Vidra, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Current team is Martin as a scientist, Diaz, uh, Digne, Sice, Burn, Holding, and Consa, Son, Lingard, Bruno, Salah, Pereira. Kane, Bamford, Nacho, two free transfers. Planning to do Son to Greenwood, Bamford to DCL or Cavani. Um, so that would leave you with... Uh, holding would have a blank. Uh, Greenwood would have a blank. Bruno would have a blank. And Ian Acho would have a blank. So you'd have four players that would have a blank. Um, I think that's fine because you have, uh, at a bare minimum, double United. It is double United attack. Um, you would have double gaming players in Ian Acho, DCL, Salah, Bruno, Greenwood, Digne, and Martinez. Um, you would play Consa though, surely, because Consa has a double. Um, and you'd play Holding, because he has a double. And then in 36, depending on how much money you have, you only need to technically free up one player. And you can just do Ian Acho to Antonio. Um... Yeah, that's what I that's what I would um So your team is uh let me see if I can get it up here. Uh so you don't have him. Don't have Shaw, don't have Maswalker, you have Dinya, you have uh you have Salas Lingard. Fernandez. You have Pereira instead of Jota, you have Kane, Nacho, Bamford. So you have Bamford, Kane, uh, Pereira, uh, Sice, Consa, Holding, uh, Burn. And Sanchez. So. Ten players for 36. And then. Um, so you have two frees. And how much money do you have in the bank? Is the question. So for me. What I would do is. 0, 0.0. Okay. That makes it difficult. Um. So I think Kane's fine, Ian Atcher's fine, Son is fine, Fernandez is fine, Lingard's fine, Salah's fine, uh, Digne's fine, Holdings probably fine, uh, Conso's fine, Martinez is fine, but you need one other player to play. You have two free transfers, and you said your transfers was going to be Son uh, to Greenwood. Uh, which would give you 1.8 in the bank. Um, and then you said you were going to do Bamford to DCL. Uh, 
which would give you 0.7 in the bank, I think. Uh, which means you'll have... You'll play a front three, you'll play a midfield four, you'll play Konsa holding Digne and Martin as in goal. So the only single game players you'd have would be Lingard, Pereira, whoever you choose, and Kane. Which I think is perfectly fine. Um, and then in 36, the players you would have blanking would be holding... Uh, Fernandez, Greenwood, and Ian Acho, if I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, holding Fernandez, Greenwood, and Ian Acho, um, you would have 11 players that would play. Yeah, because if you got rid of Ian Acho uh, for Antonio, because you have the funds to do it, Oh, I would go DCL. I would go DCL because DCL is going to play more minutes than Cavani, assuming both are fit. DCL will play more minutes and has better fixtures. Yeah, Cavani can score versus anyone, but then DCL is also good for 37 too. I would go DCL. Um, and then you don't have to worry about hits, and then you can bring in Antonio. You then play um, Martinez, um, Saiz, Consa, Digne. Uh, Sala, Lingard, uh, Pereira, uh, Antonio Kane, Calvert Lewin. Did I get that right? So three up front, three in midfield. Oh, but then you'd have. You'd have to make a transfer for a defender if you wanted to get 11. Well, what you could do right after that if you wanted to was slightly upgrade one of the defenders to a cheaper defender. Um, well, do you have... A, I'm trying to think. Do you have 11 players? So, so you have one, two, three. But, I mean, Sice doesn't... You know, doesn't play someone very good. So you have one, two, three. Dan Byrne technically plays, but will he play? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You do have eleven. It's just size plays a plays Spurs, and Dan Byrne might not play. Um, so what you could do is you could do um, for a hit if you just uh, have Ian Acho. Um, if you wanted to do for a hit. Dan Byrne to, like, Ward uh, from Crystal Palace, who has two fixtures um, and doesn't blank. I don't know if you can do that. So, basically, it would be uh, Ward in Ward in for Byrne, uh, Digne in, or not Digne in, um, Greenwood, and your, and your two other transfers. And then... Um, you could play, going into the double, you could play Martinez, uh, Consa, uh, Digne, and then Holding or Ward, or both. Fernandez, Greenwood, Salah, Calvert-Lewin, Ian Acho, Kane, and then you could pick one of Lingard or Holding or Ward. And then you could go from Ian Acho to Antonio, because um, I think you have the funds for that. Let me know if you do. But that's 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 what I would do, and that would just be for a minus four, and then that would guarantee you eleven players, because then you play Martinez, Sice, Consa, Ward, Digne, um, Salah, Lingard, Pereira, Calvert Lewin, uh, Kane, and Antonio. But you have no backup on the bench, which is a bit scary. But you know. But, uh, yeah, that, that's how I would see it. Um, that's the plan. Just tempt to go all out of time. Yeah, d yeah, that's not... Don't do that. <laughs> I think double defense for United makes sense because they don't have to necessarily do as much, potentially, but... Or can play more games. Um... Which is why I think Maguire is probably the safer pick. 
Wambasaka is probably a bit more upside chasing. So for me, um, I would go Son, Cody, Aina uh, for uh, Ward, Prowse, uh, Digne, um, and Wambasaka. Um, and then the following week, I can go Trent in for Aspilicueta. Uh, in Well, the following week, I say following week, in 37. Um, I would go Aspilicueta to Trent. And then in the final game week, I would go Vardy to uh, Aguero. Lendelov? Nah. I wouldn't go there. Would not go there. But um, I have plenty of money to, to get Trent. Um, I have up to 8.6, so I don't have to necessarily do this tonight. Um, Son will go will go down. Um, uh, you know, Son could go down, Andy can go down. It doesn't matter. Like I got Son, um, he went up to 9.6. He'll just go back down to 9.5 for me, so I can wait. Uh, literally, uh, on that. Aspilicueta, if he goes down again, it doesn't matter. So I can literally wait for that till tomorrow. Just get the team news. Um, maybe you get some early team news for uh, Leicester. Maybe that, maybe I go for a Leicester defender, maybe. But again, probably not because they blank. So, um, but yeah. As it stands, this is my team for now. Actually, let's take a look quickly um, before we sign off here. Goals in a table. Um, this is a table that's basically organized by expected goals. I'm not going to do the, the, I'm going to leave it cut off for now. But um, if they play, Jamie Vardy, uh, Sadio Mane, for those looking for a differential. Uh, Bruno Fernandez is on there. Uh, Madison, for those that have him, and Mason Mount. A lot of double game week players in there. A lot of double game week players. Um, and then the Whipping Boys. So this is uh, sorted by XG conceded. Crystal Palace is at the uh, at the top here with uh, 8.98. It is cut off screen. I do know that. Um, and so they are one of the worst defenses. So uh, maybe a lot of shots coming Guaita's way. But Southampton's up there, which favors Liverpool. Um, Sheffield United is up there, which favors Crystal Palace. Um, West Brom is up there. Uh, can't even remember who West Brom play. Um, West Ham is up there, but I think they only have a single. Newcastle is up there, so that favors Leicester. Um, so yeah. For, so for my team, this is how it stands. So we got Martinez, Aspilicueta, Shaw, Cody, Lingard, Salah, Fernandez, Captain, Jota, Son, Vardy, and Ian Nacho. Uh, I'm going to put the vice captaincy on Salah just because I like it nice and neat in the middle. But my likely transfers are going to be um, Cody is going to leave. Uh, Aina will leave just because he's more expensive. Um, those two will come out uh, for sure uh, with Son probably leaving as well because uh, I just don't trust Spurs anymore. I think Son's got his one hole um, and Leeds have been looking better defensively. Maybe Phillips comes back. I see there's an article here. It says updates on uh, Rafinha and Phillips. Let's actually take a look at it uh, while we're here. Um, Phillips and Rafinha being evaluated on a daily basis. That needs to be quiet. Um, and we'll see whether they are available. Um, we have to wait until until Saturday. So it sounds like they're close. Um, Costa won't be competing for the rest of the season. So it sounds like they could be close. Calvin Phillips coming in will help them out uh, significantly. Um, defensively, and they have been better defensively. But uh, Son, again, a single game week player, will be coming out for a double game week player in the likes of War Prowse, who then has a decent fixture after the fact. Um, and I think Spurs are not going to make European football, so they're kind of ish on the beach, sort of. Um, and do I like War Prowse versus uh, a Liverpool defense? Uh, a Crystal Palace defense has been quite bad. Um, and then a Fulham defense? Yeah, I do. Over those three fixtures. Um, so yeah. And I think he's actually the sixth highest scoring midfielder. So it's not too bad. And it's also to facilitate a Man United defender. Who would come in and play uh, more fixtures for me towards the end of the season. Whereas Cody wouldn't. Um, and it would f uh, make another def uh, defensive option to allow for me to bring in the likes of Digne. Who has a double as well. That would be for minus four. Um, and then after that. Um, I would have uh, Aspilicueta uh, out for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Will I do Lingard to Greenwood? Uh, no, because I'll have uh, three United players. I want double United defense this week. 
Um, I wouldn't do that because Lingard's fixtures afterwards, I'll, I'll want to play Lingard in these fixtures afterwards. I'll have Lingard probably on the free hit. I'll have him in for 37 and 38 as well. He's, these these are two of the worst defenses. Like if you look back at the table here, West Brom's, uh, West Brom's fourth, Southampton's fifth. <laughs> Lingard ain't going anywhere, especially with Antonio back. So that can help out quite a bit. I'm um, not sure when Declan Rice is supposed to be back, but um, yeah. Yeah, anyway, let's move over to the big screen. So yeah, quite a long stream there. We went uh, 10 minutes over than what we normally would. We usually go for an hour. But uh, yeah, uh, that is the Game Week 35 deadline stream. If you haven't done so, we do these streams over on Twitch. So give us a follow over here. Subscribe if you're here on YouTube and haven't done so already. It's just free to do. Just hit the subscribe button and turn those notification bells on. Give us a follow over on Twitter and we'll give you any uh, FPL news that we get uh, as soon as it is available. Um, and yeah, uh, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be monitoring this game week. It's going to be a long game week. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, United doesn't get too stressed out with the three games and there's some actually some action packed games and it could be some very big scores this week. Uh, captain Fernandez, uh, don't be silly. He's going to play all three games. Probably, uh, someone who's a United fan, he'll probably play 80 minutes in all three of them. Um, and he'll probably do uh, decently, uh, well. Um, and if you have the stroke captaincy chip, I don't see any reason why not to play it. Um, so, yeah. Um, and in terms of videos, uh, I think the video schedule should be... Um, I don't know. It's going to be It's gonna be a bit weird. I'll have to post it um, uh, later on. Um, but uh, definitely not going to be anything uh, Friday, um, Saturday, or Sunday. But we'll probably have videos back on Monday uh, as well. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. And until the next one, take care.